Hello everybody and welcome back to the FM Scout YouTube channel. So in this series we will be discovering which teams to manage in each league and we'll be looking at two easy teams, two intermediate teams and two hard teams. And how we are going to judge who will be easy, medium or hard, it will be based on the minimum board expectations in the first season, it will be based on the current ability of your squad relative to the rest of the league and it will be also based on finances relative to the rest of the league. So in today's edition of Teams to Manage, we are going to be looking in Italy at the Serie A and we're going to pick two teams that are easy, two teams that are intermediate and two teams that are difficult. So first off, we'll start with the easy and of course, I bet you guessed this one, we are going to pick Juventus. Their squad is by far and away the best team in the league and whilst your board expectation is to win Serie A, that should be more than doable in any given playthrough. On top of that, you've got £17 million to spend with 14 k in the wage budget, which is a bit lower, but in terms of money for the Serie A it's actually quite high and you do have a lot of players in your first team squad should you wish to raise some more fun and the key players you don't really have to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo absolutely fantastic probably the best player maybe not the best player in the game at the start that might be Messi I don't I'm not too sure but he is one of the best players at the start of the game and you've got the likes of Douglas Costa, Dybala, Pjanic, uh, Chiellini, Benucci, Emre, you know, the list is endless. You've got some fantastic, fantastic players, some fantastic prospects as well with Moise Keane and Bentoncourt in your first team squad. You've also got a lot of players out on loan, actually, which are really, really good as well in terms of potential. So, yeah, if you want an easy challenge in Serie A, pick Juventus. So, the second team that I believe is the easiest team to manage in Serie A is actually going to be Fiorentina, which may come as a little bit of a surprise considering some of the big teams that are in Serie A, but... Their board expectation is only to finish top half. With Fiorentina's squad, the way it currently is, is absolutely fantastic. And you've got a £13 million weight budget, which is far above the average for Syria. Not much in the wages, but you do have a huge squad and some sellable assets that you might want to consider selling. But in particular, I want to look at the likes of Chiesa. He's one of the best uh, wingers at the start of the game particularly in terms of potential and over your first season he is going to become one of the best players in the game you've got the likes of Marco Benassi, Veratut, you've got Alba Lafont who's an absolutely fantastic keeper I mean at the beginning of the game he's not like the complete package but in terms of his potential as well and how quickly I think he'll develop over the course of a season will be great so yeah you've got a team here who can more than comfortably finish in the top half of the Syria, and I believe he should be qual uh, challenging for the European spots in the league. So moving on to the more intermediate challenges in Syria, we're going to start with Kievo. Now one of the reasons I've picked Kievo is because the board expectation is only to avoid relegation, but they also start with a minus three point handicap. And in terms of transfers, you're already over your wage budget to begin with. And you've got a small but okay budget of four million pounds, which for Syria is not fantastic, but it's not terrible. Um, but even looking at your key players, you know, you've got the likes of Volta Bursa. He's rated as one of your best players in the squad. And whilst he's decent, he's not absolutely fantastic. And looking through the rest of the squad, you've got the likes of Radovanic, who I think is probably one of your better players. He's 29 years old. He's no spring chicken. De Pauli has got obviously one of the highest potentials in the squad. And he's, he's okay. He's middle of the road. He's not like great or anything. So I think this team, you should be able to avoid relegation with them. But it could be a struggle. Before I continue from Kiev, I just want to point out Emmanuel Vignato, who is in the under 18s. Now, if you've seen my channel in the series, I have I really rate this guy. And he turned into something special on FM18. So maybe get him in the first team squad and see if you can develop him. Next up for the more middle of the road challenges, I have selected Emily. They've got a half decent squad. It's okay. It's not fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. And in terms of the transfer budget, it's basically non existent. 2 million and 4k in the wages is not going to get you much for a player that you need to play in the top league in Italy. In terms of the board expectations, it is only to avoid relegation. But as I've said, I don't believe the players that you've got are particularly fantastic. You know, some of the best players in the squad, Mia Zazic. I'll go, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, he's okay. He's midfield orchestrator, according to the media. He's got really good technicals and mentals, but not so great physicals. You've got the likes of Aqua, who again, he's a, he's a decent, if not limited, central midfielder. But what particularly concerns me with Emily is the depth of your squad. You know, you've got maybe, what's that, 10 or 11 players that are currently three and a half star current potential in your squad according to your assistant manager at the beginning of the game and three and a half star potential in this squad is only a decent player for Serie A sides and look at the rest of your squad you've got an absolute boatload of three star and under players so 
if you do take over Emily, I would suggest maybe trying to ship some of these guys on, get as much money as you can and look to improve your first 11 and that's how you'll improve your depth. To begin the more difficult teams that I believe to manage in Syria, we're going to start with Frozenon. Their board expect you to avoid relegation, that's not attempt to avoid relegation, they expect you to stay in the league this season. In the transfer budget, you've got 1.8 million and you've got 3k in the wages, which is nothing. And looking at the squad, your best player by report is Joel Campbell and he's a decent player, he's okay, he's not absolutely fantastic but you are going to have to pin your hopes on this guy keeping you in the league. Another issue with Frozenon is a lot of their higher rated players in terms of squad are loan players and we'll take a look at Solomon here in particular. He's on loan from Spal who is a league rival. Um, he hasn't got the greatest of stats and a three and a half star player in this squad is only a laden player for most Serie B sides which is the vast majority of your first team squad is three and a half star or below. So you're talking about a team with players full of Serie B quality players and you are expected to stay in Syria. You haven't got the transfer funds to change it drastically. You haven't got the players to sell to be able to make wholesale changes that you would need. So yeah, I think this will be a difficult challenge. And finally, for the last team in this series, which I believe will be difficult, it is Parma. Now, newly promoted Parma are expected to avoid relegation, similar to Frozenon. They're not expected to attempt to avoid relegation. So if you do get relegated, chances are you are going to be sacked. In terms of money, you do actually have a bit more than usual for Serie A teams. You've got 3.6 million and 6k in the wage budget, which again is not enough to transform your squad, which I believe you would have to. Now, in terms of the players, actually, you do have some decent players. Inglese, Giovino, Alberto Grassi, Biabiani, Rigioni and Bruno Alves are all okay for Serie A. But below that, you are really, really struggling. A three-star player in this squad is only a good player for more Serie B sides. So you're going to be relying quite heavily on some aging players to get you out of trouble. I mean, the likes of Jonathan Biabiani is a three and a half star player in this squad. And if you're relying on him to keep you in the league, I think you are really in trouble. He's got great pace. Well, that's it. He's got absolutely nothing else. So that is going to be it for the Serie A. If you've got any other ideas who might be an easy, medium or hard challenge in Italy, leave them in the comments down below. If you're interested in more content from yourself, the link to my channel will, of course, be in the description. Like the video, subscribe to the FM Scout channel. And until next time, take it easy.